guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So here I am back in my mini happy planner horizontal that I use as a journal. So I'm going to flip back. This is obviously not as completed as I'd like. I'm a little bit behind, but I will get it done. And then other spreads definitely look like that. So I do go ahead and fill these in. And I just love the way that it looks once it's all filled in. This week, actually for the whole month of February, I am going to use one sticker book all month and it's the Happy Planner Joanne 5144 super awesome and blah 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 sticker book. All right, let's get started. So this week I have gone all mermaid in all of my mini Happy Planners. Why did I go all mermaid? I don't really know why. I just the colors worked really well and I really liked it, so I decided, "Hey, why not?" And just to make things easier, I've actually taken out the pages of all of the mermaid stickers and I'm going to it's just easier to work with when they're all taken out of the planner like that so I'm going to wipe this out and probably wipe these out as well don't mind the stars behind them but I'm like which girl do I want to go with and these are all the stickers that are left from like the um, mermaid theme in the sticker book and I plan on using them all now she is going to kind of let's see this is gonna be one very big sticker and of course my husband starts to vacuum. Let me close my door here. Okay, so that one sticker takes up a lot of room, but I think she's pretty. So with that being said, I don't think I'm gonna use these two because they're just massive. So I'm gonna use this one for up here. Oops. Oh, I didn't lie down the sticker properly. It's like... Oh, hold on. There. Hey, ah! It's still got like a fold in it. I don't know what I did. Let's grab my tweezers. Let's see what happened there. There we go. Just to straighten it out. Cute. Okay. Now these two big ones I don't think I'm going to be using in this spread because they're just massive. So let's spread some Little Mermaid love all over. And I do plan on using all of these because there's something very satisfying about finishing a sticker sheet and I have done that with so far every week of this type of spread. So let's just place you in the corner there because you're cute. Okay, so ooh, sticker sheet done. And actually this is this, these are the sticker sheets that were done. Is this a mermaid? Yeah. So it's already three sticker sheets done out of this sticker book, which is fantastic. Okay, now starfish. Yeah, the thing with these stickers is that they are quite large but I don't mind that too much. And actually, like the pink dots in the middle work really well with this. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. Simple, but super cute. Purple with this one. And then pink up here. And I don't want to use the foil just yet. I'm going to go with a tiny one. Oops. Here. I like that. I'm going to add one more here because I feel like it just, that one feels a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I love it. 
there's enough here that I could probably use this in a memory planning spread, so I'm not too discouraged about that. So I'm going to put them, put these back in the, in the sticker where I can remember them to put them anyway. Okay, so now you guys know that at this point I normally have my one word of the day, and I don't know how I'm going to do that with these because I don't know if they're going to be enough. But I'm looking, and there's these, which would go really well. But I don't know if I have enough of those colors. I have a lot of blue. It's a little bit of yellow. I could put yellow. I could totally make yellow work. Because there's a little bit of yellow here, and I think yellow would be a nice contrast. So I might do half yellow, half blue. Where are my scissors? So I'm just going to cut this in half and then I'm going to use the because I don't really use the checklist like that as it is so I'm going to cut three and then blue will have four and if you guys aren't familiar with my one word of the day it really is oh where do I want to put these so I want to put one on this side and then two on this side it's it is just about a way of summarizing the day in one word. Sometimes it's like an ugh or you know a busy or just one word to describe the day. Oh why am I putting two right next to each other? I don't want two yellow right next to each other. I don't know what I'm thinking. Ah, oh no. Okay. Then I'll put this yellow one down here. And I don't know if that one will stay now. But. And then this can go on Saturday. And then blue. I'll do four blue. This will look really cute. I'm very excited. Uh, no, the blue, perfect. Oh, and I really, really like the contrast of the yellow in there. And plus, I'm using up stickers that I didn't think I would have. It is all about using, it's, it's about using your stickers and using what you've got. Because I think some of us get caught up in having all of the stickers and then forget that the reason that we buy these stickers is so that we can use them in our planners. And I love using them in my journal because I know that I will actually look back on these and still see all the stickers that I used. Okay, oh, I love it. Oh my goodness, that yellow I think added so much. Now I feel like I should have put something in there. Let's go find some more starfish. Just an itty bitty one in the corner. One in there. These are getting bigger now. One in here. Oops. Cute. All right, that is it. Done. Done, done, done. Perfect. Oh, I love it. What do you guys think? I love the big mermaid. She's so cute. All right, but that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a blah. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.